Greetings everyone, John Little here and the rest of the Zoo crew. We are going to be working together on the Community Puzzle Project. The ALBA group, I believe, I believe, we're going to check it out right now, has given me all of their puzzle pieces. This is our website, communitypuzzleproject.com. Um, Sammy's the one in control, uh, usually when he's not swimming. A little bit of brief intro about all of it. You've got the human staff, and then you've got the zoo crew who are here. Now, very quickly, because we have a video already on this, the villages are set up. We only have the Alba group. It's the only one currently running right now. That's the group we're working with. Um, when you want to go to us, and you've been assigned a village in a puzzle, you can just press villages or you can go to specifically the other villages will show up here once we have them activated. But that way you can click on any of them and see what's going on in each of the villages. But let's get on to what you're really here for, the puzzle. All right, there's two programs I use in this. This is called On One Photo Raw and Photoshop are the two prime programs. Here are your pieces, all the villagers. Everything is in here. Some of you sent me two, two or three copies. So we have more than should be here. And this is great. You can see the variety. You can see some of the challenges that we're going to have. Um, some of them are really tight. Some of them are crooked. Um, but you know, th this is what we wanted to do. We want to see what it's going to be like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you now what we're going for. All right? All right, you guys ready for the big unveil? Here it is. This is what you're painting. I know, breathtaking, isn't it? And do I have it somewhere I can put it all together for you? No, not right now I don't. It's still in pieces, but these are each of the pieces that you were given. Now, the way this is laid out is exactly how we should be able to see them. If I close this window over here, it's a little bit bigger. I don't think I can close that one, can I? Sure. All right, so it's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight pieces across. And it's one, and it should be eight pieces down, because we had 64 members. The bottom row is a little bit skinnier than the other guys. But this is what ours is supposed to look like when we're done, OK? We're going to be referring to this often, because i got to flip the images around the right way to make sure I've got them lined up as best as I can. And then we're going to try to crop them, we're going to try to colorize them, we're going to try to match them the best we can, and we're going to see what we get. If this doesn't sound exciting, I don't know what does. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go back to your photos. And what we're going to do is we're going to start, we're going to give them a color. So that way I can sort them and get them all together. Um, and I think we can use six. Six is red, okay. We don't want that, so we're gonna do none on that one. So I know we need this guy. We're gonna need one of these, and I'm gonna go with this one in particular because it gives me a little bit more room if I have to move it and manipulate it. This one down here, we only have that one, that one, and then this is C4 by the name and these guys were C1, so we're probably going to need him. Are these C4s down here? Yep. All right, this is taken outside, taken inside, and I'm not sure where that one is. We can come back if we don't like what we've taken. I'm going to go with this one. This is five. We need five. This is six, and there's seven. So that is the first row. So now, if I just filter this and say, just give me the reds, Advance, give me the reds. That's our first row. So that, and we know that has to be rotated over. That goes like that, that, that's not too bad. 
I don't remember this being there, but it must be, right? So let's go back to... Oh, it did have that there. All right. All right. So... I'll go back to red again. So that's what we've got. Not too bad. Really quite interesting. So now, what I've got to do is, we're just going to work on this first row. Let's just see what we get with this first row. Uh, this is very tight. Now, I have created, we go into edit mode. I have created crops. This is uh, three, this is the top row, the top seven rows are supposed to be three by 2.3 inches. So if I do this, that automatically applies that crop, and then I can go back and look at the crop, and that's how much it wants to crop. Which sounds about right. So we, we have up and down room. It looks like we're not fully straight over here. I'm not going to worry about that right now, though, because we can, we can fill that in. So we don't know if we want to be up or down or where we want to be. So let's go right in the middle, assuming that they did something close. So let's go with that, all right? So I'm just going to say apply up here at the top. First piece is done. Piece of cake, right? We're well on our way. Now I'm going to go back to the browse. Now let's take this piece. Go over to edit. A little fuzzier than I was hoping for, but that's okay. You know, this is the first one, guys. This is what we're trying to do. We're going to do the 3x2x3 three by by three crop. Automatically going to crop it for me. Didn't know how far down we needed to go, so let's now take the cropping the rest of the way. And this will stay proportional to what we need. And let's just see what we got. All right, so we're going to be a little bit, got to go into it a little bit. It should be a little bit more than that, but I'm going to go with that for right now. Again, we're getting a rough crop, two by three. Now this person, I may contact again to see if they can't give me a higher resolution. Do you see the little, um, the coloration besides the paint? You see all the little dots? That's the actual pixels coming through, similar to what I gave you guys. All right, let's go back. So those two pieces, not too bad. You know, I'm looking right here at the dark line. Now, it's a little taller, so what we're going to have to do, I don't know why it's taller. Let's bring this one back up one more time. We can just go to the crop, and it is, oh, it's not the right crop. My bad. Let's go to that crop. All right, let's, let's reset this. you got to reset it all. i got to reset that. Cancel. Cancel, let's see. Yeah, we've got to cancel. Let's reset. Cancel that. Yeah, we're going to cancel it. And we can come back into it. And we've got to go. I see that's a cropped image. So we've got to go back in history. We gotta go, we we gotta reset this whole thing back to the original piece. There we go. Reset all down there. And I did not choose the two by three. And go into crop. That's not two by three up there. So that's supposed to say two by three. Let's see, three by two, two point three. Okay, that's the size it's supposed to be. I thought that was too much cutting off on that one. All right, so we're going to go about like EA, as my father used to say. And then we'll go back to browse. That looks better. All right, see how much closer we are? Yeah, that looks better. All right, next one. So you can see it's going to take a while to go through these. Um, I'm kind of excited about doing it. It's a, it's, it's a project. We'll just go to edit. See, this is too tight. I have no room. See, I wanted space around it. And in the crop. And I'm not sure if that number up there is a two by three after I've cropped it. It probably is. I'm just going to leave it like it is for right now. 
Oh, look at that lined up nicely there. All right, this one. I got no breathing room, guys. It's okay. The next group is going to have access to this video so they can see what we're going through or what it's going to take to put it together. Now, this one's slightly crooked. Now, if I had more room, I could straighten this out. This may have to take a little bit more work to get it to really kick in there. But, we, you know, we're, we're going to work with what we got here, folks. This isn't bad. Interesting. Okay, this guy. This is interesting, the different colorations you folks have come up with. I'm loving it. All right, here we go. Edit. Give it a two by three. Turn it back on. And tighten it up. It should just take some off the top and bottom. Ooh. Okay, I'm not I'm not sure that's really staying a two by three. So let's let's change our number up here. Reset. Reset. Okay, I've got to got to cancel it. Come back into it. Cancel. Got to say okay when you say cancel. Come back into it. And let's just we'll do a manual crop on this one. Oh, you got to go to something, pick something, and then you can change the values. That took me a long time to figure that out. Most programs, you can just go in and change values. Okay, that's two by three. That's what we're looking for. Okay. That looks about right. Okay, might have been a little heavy on the bottom. I think we have to have that bottom. Let's go with that. And go back to browse. Not too bad. That's looking good. Look at that lining up nicely. This piece looks pretty good too. Too small. I mean, that's actual size. So that is really too small for me to work with. But we're going to do our best by golly because we can do that. And it's looking at me oddly like, what are you doing? See, this is a 640 by 40. This is the lowest resolution as you could possibly send me. <laughs> okay, when I say the highest, go to the other end of the scale, guys. All right. I'm, I'm, I think I'm going to go with the bottom. I think I'm going to need more bottom than the top. Yep, that'll work. All right, now, this is interesting. Let's pop over to the puzzle, because we're working on this piece right here. Okay, so this person needed this little bit on it. And what did we actually get? Got to go back to the reds again. Oh, it's in there. It's just real dark. Okay. All right. We can work with that then. Here we go. Now, what do we got? This is slightly tipped, <clears throat> as you can tell by the shadow. It's not real square. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to do a little pre-cropping on this first. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click on it and we're going to say edit or send, it's going to say send, send to Photoshop. And that's where we're going to edit it. We're going to make a copy of it so I don't ruin anything with the original. It's going to come up over here now. Let's get this one a little bigger for you. Because we've got ways we're going to straighten this out. First thing you got to do is convert it to a smart object. <laughs> I know, it's all technical stuff. But don't worry, just follow along. And then we have to go into what's called Camera Raw. And that lets us manipulate it as if it was a raw file. And what we're going to do is we're going to straighten things out. And we've got to remember how we did that. Yes, perspective. Hold on a second. Let's see. Uh, up here, we have this one. Got to have that guy right there. That's your perspective. Come over here. And what we're going to do is we're going to say this line. And this line are perpendicular.
So you have to straighten that up. Okay, now the next one we're going to do is this line is perpendicular, and this guy is level. See how to straighten it all out for us? And then say okay. Now what we're going to do, I don't want to crop it here, I want to crop it over on our side, is i got to do an export as a PNG. It'll come up quicker over on the other side for me. And we're going to call it, let's get rid of that part. So it'll be a little bit shorter. And that'll work for me. Okay. And then let's go ahead and just save this because it automatically keeps it. So I'll go save that. And then we're going to go back to here. Now, we've got to turn off our filter. So we can go find what we just made. Here's the new one we just did. So this guy will become none, and this guy will become red. And then I can go back to our reds. Oh, no, I already had it. All right, reds. Uh, that one we don't want on anymore. We're just putting none on him, so he'll go away. Okay, see how I straighten that up? Now we can go in and crop it with our preset size. And then we're going to have to get into the crop. I guess I can't do that. I was assuming that I could. Well, yeah, I guess it did. Is it keeping it? No, it's, it's gone into free form. Okay. So we have to give it a size. Then we've got to override the size. If I give it a size, can I do this then? No. Okay. I had a thought. I just have to punch in the numbers. All right. So that's the size we need. Now, this person gave me enough space around it. Excellent job there. See, I needed a space like this so I can square it up if I needed to, like I had to on this one, and then move it up and down and move it around if I needed to. So other than the square issue, not bad. And, you know, I could straighten it out. So... Job well done. All right. Now, this is looking pretty good. We might want to bring it down just a little bit when we get closer. Let's see what we have here. Um, let's just bring out a bigger. Let's see if we have to. We're going to have to straighten that one up a little bit, too, aren't we? So let's go back into the browse mode. And we do the old right click over to Photoshop. Edit a copy with the plant. Yep, make a copy. I always like to reread that every time I do it. All right. And what you're doing by making it a smart object, I mean, in case you wanted to know, is any change we make to it are what's considered non-destructive, meaning I can get back to this file if I needed to. Let me go in the perspective, go down this guy to make our lines. Hmm. Up and then this guy looks pretty straight already, but we'll just shoot it one time to make sure. Yeah, and the bottom looks fairly good too. Just a little bit. Okay, save those changes, do a quick export. And we'll call, we'll call it that. That'll work. And we'll do a save on this one. And then we'll go back. Turn off this. All right, that looks like our squared up one, so we can turn that one off. That one on. We didn't do that one. Where's the second one? Oh, it hasn't popped. Oh, there it is down here. And turn. Wait a minute. Oh, I did the wrong one. Okay, so that was this one we had. M on. M off. That's the one we just did. PNG copy. That on. That one's off. 
That was original. That went off. Are you following me? See, I can barely follow myself. All right, here we go. Back to the red. And we got one too many. Okay, we have two of you guys. Who's not right? Well, you're not right. I can tell by looking at you. Okay. So we just need to crop this one then, right? Two, four, six, eight. Yep. Okay, so we're just gonna do the manual crop. Because our numbers oh, that's a th those are three by two point three. Just need to add that to it. Yunk. All right. And go about like that. Again, we can fine tune these. All right, there you guys is the first row. I, I'm, I'm mildly impressed. We'll have a little lining up and things to do, but now let's take a look at the original. This top row here, that's what you're working on. And this is what you've given me. Well, not that. I'm sorry. You got to the red. There we go. I think it's going to come together. Now, I'm going to stop here for now. Uh, this is going to be way too long, and Jay always says I make my videos way too long. So I may just stop it here, and if I have all the pieces, I'm going to show you this uh, maybe Friday or soon, because I know you guys are anxious to see it. So let's stop for now. Call it a night, 2 o'clock in the morning. I have some other work to do before 4 o'clock to get things done. And we'll take it from there. Thanks, everyone, for participating. And those that are looking in for the first time, this is the Community Puzzle Project. If you're interested in joining us, come to the website. Uh, Learn More has a movie. And getting started is a form you want to do to sign up. And I am going to add a phone number to this form. Because I need to be able to get a hold of you people or Skype or Facebook, some way to communicate with you because a couple people dropped out, which is fine. Things come up. I don't have a problem with that, but it delayed us on getting the, you know, I had, I'm going to say like 80% of the pieces back within three days. And then we've been waiting for the other pieces and, you know, other things going on, but we got to be able to get the communication going so I can make sure that we're following through the best we can. Again, thanks, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the first strip. We have seven more to go. Thank you. Bye now.